Today, it's time to revisit one of my most successful videos on this channel ever and take it to a new level. Last time around, when we took on a team from India, yes, we're going back to India. We have rebuilt the poorest team over there with free agents only. This time in FIFA 23, we are taking on the worst team in India. Yes, statistically speaking, it's either East Bengal or Northeast United. I already have done a video with Northeast United in the past. So this time it is East Bengal. We have put this team into the bottom of the English divisions. And today, my friends, it is going to be incredible to rebuild that team right there and also hopefully create an Indian superstar that will lift that title by the end of this video. I cannot wait for this. This should be a lot of fun. Let's dive straight into it. Let's discover this team together. The first time I'm looking at it, how keep up top? 29 year old, 53 rated. Silva, 67 rated, 35. These guys are young. <laughs> then going to the right hand side, we have VIP Suhair. He's coming in with the 29. Doherty. Wait. This is Jamie Doherty. There's a FIFA pro player that plays, and he's like from Australia. And his brother is this guy. And he's playing. He's playing in India. Oh my God. This is such a crossover. I actually know the guy. Like I know this guy's brother. What the hell is happening in this video? He's 24 years old. All right. We're going to carry you through, pal. Australia. Let's go. We have Kiriakou on the right back position. He's playing CDM right now. 32 years old. Singh on the left. 23. Yes. Come on. He's a bit younger. We love to see that. Lalrin Zuala. Left back. 23 years old. Oh yes. Gonzalez. 32. Of course. Lal, hold on. I'm going to try this. Lal Chung Nunga. I'm the best. Anyways, right back Golui. That is not a right back. He's the center back. And then Singh in goal once again there. And then we have a bunch of players on the bench here that we should be looking out for, for sure. And as I said before, in this video, I want to create the next Messi, the next Mbappe, but he's going to be from India. So one of these players or one of the players we are signing, at least one of them, is going to be there when we lift that trophy. That is my target today. Starting off with the man that could be that guy. I am bringing in to East Bengal, a striker named Narayanan. That is his name. He comes into the club from the club of Bengaluru in India. And I wanted to take him with us here. Wow, he seems very, very small here. Interesting. A small striker. All right. Now, he could be that guy. I am telling you right now. Sivasakti Narayanan. And again, I'm going to struggle with these names, but I'm trying my best. He could be the one, lads. A rating. Let's go. 53 rated as he comes into the club. Oh, Kip, I'm sorry, pal, but you're going to be taken out. So Narayanan could be the one. We're going to be playing in this 4-4-2 formation. And this is going to be the starting lineup for now as things stand. But the good thing is, do you have 3 million to spend? Again, I will try and have my captain be an Indian player lifting that Champions League trophy and have as many Indians in here as possible. But... We also need support for this team for coming in from like areas where we just don't really get talents from. That's what I want to focus on today. So let me bring someone in from like the depths of South America. And here he is. He actually fits the club really well. East Bengal have that yellow and red going on. And that is for his country too. Ecuadorian flag, if you guys know, has the yellow and red in it too. And he is from Ecuador. So he is coming in now. Garis Mina. Never heard of this guy, but this is what I love about these types of career modes, man. Here he comes into the club. A rating says center back, not good enough, but I will let you know. Gonzalez will be let go if I do get the chance to have put him onto the transfer market. I do want, ideally, to have younger players here. That is going to be very important. And Mina is someone I'm really excited about. 18 years old. From Ecuador, as I said, I wanted someone from South America and we did it. And he only cost us a very, very low amount of money. So I can still make some banging transfers. The next Indian arrives at the club. It is the highest potential player from India. His name is Apuya. He is coming in as a CDM from Mumbai City. 
and I'm happy to bring this guy in. And by the way, I'm sorry if I'm bringing in players that are actually like rival teams of uh, our squad. I don't have that knowledge, so I'm sorry about that, guys. We have brought him into the squad. Now he's going to take over that center midfield spot for me. 61 rated. Now, in this formation, he doesn't actually work. We're going to have to switch to a 4-4-2 with two holding mids. That way, Doherty actually gets a plus two, which is quite interesting. Ah, he can also play as a CDM. Do I want to have him a little bit deeper? 24-year-old, 5 foot 6 tall. Now, I'm going to play him as a center mid, and Apuya is going to be the CDM of this team. But now, we have made two transfers from India. So I think you guys will be happy with that. And I'm very happy too. A deal like the one we have just done will take us to the next level. I'm talking about a new goalkeeper, guys. It just had to happen. We're talking about Kleber Pinar Gote. He is the one. And he actually plays for the same team as our center back, Mina. Both of them from Ecuador. So I'm really happy to have these guys reunited here. So he's 19 years old, 6 foot 2, which is not the tallest. But we have reunited these two. And I do believe the goalkeeper spot is the most important one when it comes to rebuilds. So I had to bring in someone big right here. This one cost me the most amount of money. I'm out of money now. We are going to play through this first season. And honestly, I do not expect any success the first season is gonna be awful actually guys as we are in this season i just went into the youth academy and for the first time since i don't have that version on this pc where i get like the sick talents all the time at the beginning of career modes i've gotten myself this espinosa gonzalo espinosa center forward 57 rated already he's 15 he is the one Yes, he is the one that I will go ahead and promote to the team at some point. So we will have a youth academy player as well. Whether he will be a starting 11 player or a player for the bench, we will see that later on. Just realize that he could be even better at center attacking midfield. So Espinosa, bang, 60. That is going to be a lot more useful. The first year is done and this is where we are. It's awful. It's as expected. We conceded 97 goals. Wow. But we scored 65, which is kind of good, you know. 65 is the amount that the team... Wait, what the hell? Hold on. The second place team in the league scored 63. We scored 65. That's amazing. I like that. For the fact that we're the worst defensive team, we actually have the second best attack in the league. That is incredible. So that gives me hope. Let me see how the boys have done here. Let me actually go back into the starting 11 so we can check it out like this. Narayana up to a 56. Hopefully he scored a lot of goals. Silva is going to retire by the end of the season. So we can actually take him out and bring in the kid from the Youth Academy. Sing on the right-hand side. Doherty is up to a 62. Apuya by plus one. Obviously, we won't be seeing an insane amount of growth here because of the bad performances of the team. But hey, it's not looking too bad. With just one or two signings, I do believe that we can turn things around in the next season. So here it is. Wow. Okay. So the only reason why we have done so well is the fact that Silva has just decided, you know what? I'm just going to bang in all the goals. Don't care what you guys do. This is my last season. I'm about to retire. I'm just going to go ham and leave you. And that's what he's done. 32 and 5. Clayton Silva, thank you very much for your service. And have fun in your retirement home. I was given an 11 million budget this season. Initially, first season, 3 million. This season, 11. And with that, guys, we are going crazy. We are bringing in a right back to kick things off. Joe Mendes, a Swedish right back from Aik, joins East Bengal to take this Indian team to the top. Kiriaku is going to leave us. He is going. And Mendes comes in with a 64 rating. Gonzalez needs to be replaced as well. He's 33. We're going to figure out everything in this team and get things going. And we're going to have Narayanan, Apuya, all these guys still here and trying to work these guys up in their rating. Narayanan did, in fact, score eight goals last season, which isn't too bad. Espinosa time. Center attacking mid is now coming into the team. And of course, because of that, we're going to have to switch to a 4-2-3-1 wide, take off Suhair and bring in the 62 rated 5-star weak foot, 4-star skill move. 
Espinosa from Colombia. He looks like Mudrik, actually. Talking about Mudrik. My God, what a freaking transfer saga, man. What is going on? Like, before he was joining Arsenal, he was posting so much on social media, indicating that he wants to go to Arsenal. And then after he joined Chelsea, he basically didn't post anything about it. There's something really odd going on here. I don't think he wanted to go there. I think he actually really wanted Arsenal. This next transfer is a player that has just joined Leverkusen in real life. I'm talking about Club Bruges, big talent Mbamba. He is a player that probably a lot of you guys have maybe used in career mode already, but he is the one for me now. Noah Mbamba, Club Bruges, 1.8 million, joining East Bengal, of course completely different class to buy Leverkusen <laughs> but we're bringing him in, bringing him in for the center back spot for Gonzalez who we will try and sell if it finally happens and Mbamba takes over with the 67 rating he's going to be commanding that defense and hopefully taking us to that next level and up next I need to fix the right mid and the left mid position going after it immediately number seven on his back the new signing is a player that newcastle united has signed in real life a talented player named qual that came in from australia yes he has come in here and he has been loaned out just recently to a different team from newcastle united so he can get some play time elsewhere already but we are bringing garan qual into our team as a left mid slash Left wing, we can play in whichever position we want to. 88 pace, 64 shooting, 62 passing. Probably one of the more expensive signings I've made so far. 2 million, 2.4 million plus the left mid that we already had. And now only that right mid position is empty. And I got to tell you, we actually have a decent amount of money left. So I can actually go absolutely mental right now with this next transfer. Because we do have around 5 mil left, which is double what we just paid for uh qual so should i just do it i double dare you since we are looking for players in asia i decided let's go ahead and go away from india for a second and find a talent in korea we are bringing in from fc Seoul a man named kang seong jin who looks very happy about signing for our club east bengal fc has found an attacking right winger. I believe that is the position he plays in. And I can't wait to bring him into the squad. Ooh, 67. Yes. That's what I like to see. 86 pace, 62 shooting, 57 passing, 67 dribbling. And I actually didn't pay too much for him. Only 2 million. So we still have money to sort out contract situations, do all that madness. I could also get a left back. I have a specific player in my mind. And I do think he's actually Indian. In he comes. East Bengal FC has found their left back coming in from Hyderabad. The left back named Mishra. Yes, he is actually one of the highest potential Indian players out there. So now he has signed for the club. And I'm so excited about this one, guys. 800,000 spent on this one. The rest will be kept for wages and all those things. He comes in instead of Larin Zuala. And he takes over with a 62 rating. That is a plus three upgrade, which we will welcome four star week. Good. Let's go, Mishra. He is only 21 years old. Now, I truly believe our team is ready to support Narayanan in his quest to go ahead and be the top scorer in this division at the end of our second season guys we are coming into the ninth position the progress is insane but we have only scored 64 goals this time around which is one goal less than last time which again we need to work on that but defensively we have improved big time i like to see that and again we are one of the most scoring teams out there. 64 is the second place right there with Cambridge and Tramia Rovers. And then also it is going to be us alongside with them. Good stuff. I need to see how our team has done in terms of growth. And that is coming in and kicking in now. Narayanan, 63. Seong, uh, Kang Seongjin, 73. Espinosa, 66. Kroll, 74 rated and became a left wing now. Doherty up to a 63 rating. I believe that is not a lot of growth there, sadly. Hate to see that. Apuya up to a 67. Mina 62. Need to upgrade. Mishra 71. Oh, yes. Mendes 72. Mbamba 72. And our goalkeeper up to a 68. Looking at this, 
I can see three positions being changed next time around. Goalkeeper, left centre back and possibly Odoherty as well. I'm sorry, Jamie. I will have to replace your brother. Don't hate me, OK? But let me see who has scored these goals. Who is the one doing it? It is the Australian. You know what? One Australian goes, the other one stays. I'm fine with that. Qual is on fire and that is exactly what I wanted from him next season. We have to get promoted. Big improvement this time, but promotion is key. It is time for a new midfielder, and his name is Andy Diouf. Don't think I've ever used him before. A player that initially is loaned out of Basel returns to Rennes, and now is going to be a part of our journey. Andy Diouf, Stad Rennes, welcome to the club. Four million spent on this lad, and our budget is 17 this season. We have to go up. So, Doherty, I didn't put you into the deal because I want to keep you around as a mascot for this club as long as I can. But Diof comes in with a 71 rating. Right centre midfielder alongside the likes of Apuya. We are looking at a big, big improvement in that position. Now we need to continue the improvements at the back. Up next, the player that actually plays in the Belgian national team at this point and could be their future. I am talking about Andelest Zino de Bast. I've watched this guy play a couple of times and I gotta say, he is talented. He's a good center back that best seems to perform in a three at the back from what I can tell. But in our, in our formation, he's gonna go straight into that center back position. Zino de Bast from Andelest. 4 million paid for this kid. I'm hoping his rating is good. Mina, 63. The Bast, 71. All right. Mbamba and the Bast, both players that have had experience in the Belgian league. We are looking very, very good in those spots now. And I might have to spend big for the goalkeeper so that we actually do stop conceding. Pinar Gott, I'm so sorry, but just have to and in he comes the italian walks into the club stefano turati and never used before so i'm excited he is one that will come in at a 72 i'm fine with that that is a plus four upgrade on pinar Gotte, who can now be a great backup and as we are bringing all these players in we are bringing in those players that used to be in the starting 11 onto the bench which is going to be useful but what I need to see this season is this man right here to go up in his rating. Narayanan, I need you to step it up. I need you to score. I need you to be the one that has over 20 goal contributions. Otherwise, we might have to replace you and just focus on Apuya. He is the one that is doing well. It's at the CDM position and he's rocking it. And if you can't hang... We will have to let you go. Time to see if we have gotten promotion now. 2025. Here it is, lads. Where are we? 102 points. Yes, 102. 99 goals scored, 49 conceded. That is the type of football I want to see from my team. Promotion had to be done. It just had to be. Narayanan up to a 69. Get in. All right. We're getting towards the 70s, but in, which is good to see. I hope he has done well. Kang Xiong up to a 79, Espinosa 72, Qual 81, Apuya 73, Diouf 77, Mendes 78, Mbamba and De Bast have grown, Mishra just keeps up with the lads, glad that we have a couple of Indian players in this team that we can rely on, especially him, he is the highest rated one we have at the moment, and then Turati in goal up to a 76, I want to see who scored them goals, show me, show me, show me, come on, come on, come on, Qual. 35 and 9 class. Kang Xiong 28 and 15. The wingers are doing insane things right here. And then Narayanan with his first 20 goal contribution season. Dio 15 and 7. Get in. Espinosa 10 and 11. And even Apuya has stepped in with 4 and 10. This team is going places. And first up, we're going into. League One. Bilal El Canus or Al Canus. He is a player that just made it into the team of Genk and is getting more regular playtime. I am excited to bring in this Moroccan wonder kid into this club. You guys might hear a lot about him in the future. He comes into the squad to replace Espinosa. 75 rated. This kid could be the future of Genk. Very excited to see him play. Looks very agile, looks very good at what he does in real life. And now we're going to see what he can do in that camp position. Even though I know 
you guys would have liked to have the youngster from the youth academy just be exceptional until the end but his growth hasn't been as fast so he's going to turn into an amazing backup for our team while Elkanus now leads the line and yes I do have 15 million to spend but I'm not gonna because I really like this team that we have built and I'm only going to be intervening if things are just going downhill I still have faith in Narayanan to keep picking it up. He had a great season, dynamic potential should kick in and we should be seeing him growing again. Season's over, first place East Bengal, 118 points, 113 goals and 45 goals conceded. Lads, we have created a monster. It took us long to build this in the lower leagues, but now we are a championship club or we will be a championship club and Narayanan, let's go, buddy. 76. In my mind, I said to myself, 75, and he survives. 76, he definitely does. Kang Xiong, 84. Kual, by the way, now has become a potential to be special player. Elkanus up to his 77. Get in. Duf, 81 after that insane season last time around. And growth on Apuya, our captain as well. And Mishra up to an 81. And you know what? I think I'm going to give him the captaincy. Mishra has been unreal since he has joined. His growth has been exceptional. The Bast and Mbamba both above 80. Same with Mendes, the Swedish lad on the right back position. And Turati is looking very good right here as well. Guys, even Espinosa on the bench is doing well. And I do wonder, is it the wingers again? Or has the striker outperformed them finally? Yes! No wonder he grew by plus six. 37 and 2. Get in, Narayanan. Kual, 27 and 13. Kang Xiong Jin, 23 and 20. This guy is ridiculous. Diouf, 11 and 4. Elkanus, 10 and 10. And even our left back has chimed in with 7 goal contributions and our CDM with 8. That's, trust me, Championship needs to be scared of this team right here. They don't need signings. Oh, you thought the Championship would be a problem? Nope. East Bengal FC, 116 points. Lads, we are ruining everyone and I love it. 105 goals scored, only 33 conceded, which is clearly the best defense in the league. So let's give a shout out to Turati and Bamba. Whoa, where's my right back? Don't you worry, I'll buy him back. I'll save him. Uh, Mbamba, Debast, Mishra, we are fine. Apuya up to an 83. Diouf, 85. Elkanus, 81. Narayanan, 81. Kang Xiong, 88. Kual, 93. Where the hell did my right back go? I will bring him back. Trust me. Someone picked him up late, it seems, in the mid transfer window. Narayanan, 30 and 2. Kual, 30 and 14. Kang Xiong, 50. 15 and 16, Elkanus 13 and 11, and Diouf once again performing, Apuya doing his best as well. Guys, this team has now made it into the Premier League. I will get my right back back, and then it's it's on, man. It's freaking on. We're going to destroy people in the Prem. I've done the thing that you guys always want me to do. I've brought in players for the bench. So I have brought in Castro for the bench alongside Coppola and Lambert and Arnold. All of these guys are free agents and they will support us in our Premier League title run that might never happen. But we'll see. Oh, so you thought we'd struggle in the Prem. Nope. Eighth position, 59 points. More goals scored than goals conceded. We are an established team in the Premier League already. We ain't going down. That is not happening. East Bengal FC is competing with the best out there. And now it is going to get very interesting. Eighth position, I don't think gets you any competition. Maybe Conference League. I'm actually not too sure. I think seventh does. But having said all that, guys, I'm excited to see what our players are looking like. So here it is, our team. Narayanan, 86. Come on, buddy. Kang Xiong, 91. Kual, 94. Elkanus, 86. Diouf, 88. Apuya, 87. Mishra with the 89. El Capitan, Debast, 88. Mbamba, 89. Mendes, 89. And Turati, 89. And you know what? 
think you guys would rather have me captain the man up top because it has been about him. It has been about creating the best player in the world. And I know Mishra is higher rated, but this man scores the goals. So let's see right now who has gotten the most goal contributions. Narayana, 18 and 3 in his first Premier League season. That is incredible. If the camera would like to focus, thank you very much. 18 and 3 is huge. 14 and 3, 13 and 5. El Canus. Wow. Best performer in the team. 12 and 14. Camera. Oh, God. I'm going to smack you up. We have the players looking fine in their first Prem season. Don't know why this camera doesn't want to understand that this is my face. It focuses on in on it and then it goes away again. It's a love hate relationship. I love the quality. But man, the focusing. I just want to punch through its tiny monitor over there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh, you want to you want to go out of focus again? Yeah, trust me. You don't trust me. May 2029. Guys, this is it. We are looking at a team that has finished in the first position. East Bengal FC, the worst team in India, has overtaken the UK and overtaken the English Premier League. We are looking at 93 points right there and a team that has beaten the likes of Newcastle and Aston Villa to it, which is really odd to see. Where the hell is Liverpool? Liverpool is sixth. Huh? You know what? I'd actually take that. <laughs> As a Liverpool fan, I take six right now. But hey, guys, it's fine. It will be fine again, right? Right? Yeah, sure. Anyways, goals and assists. Narayana on 36 and 3. Kang Xiong, Kual, El Cano, Steel, everyone on fire. And the team is ready for the Champions League. Look at that. There are only a few players below the rating of 90. Narayana next season will be 90 plus rated. I am ready for it. Put me in the Champions League final with this squad. I'll smash it up. We have beaten AC Milan in the round of 16. Olympique Lyon in the quarterfinals. And now Leipzig in the semifinals. Is it happening? Leipzig. Are they good enough to stop us? We have created an insane team. Is India taking over world football? I don't know. We have won the second game. We haven't won the first one. Now, the, the, the Champions League final might be right here. Just 1st of June. We are playing in the Champions League final against PSG. It is happening, lads. Ah, oh, This has been something we have worked towards for a long time. Narayana, 90 rated, 5 star, 5 star. Kang Xiong, 5 star, 5 star. Qual as well. El Canus with a 91. Diouf and Apuya. I'm so happy that we have three players of Indian descent in this team. I, I only thought I would be able to bring in, bring through one, but we have done three and this is amazing. So Narayana, as you guys can see, Indian, Apuya, Indian and then Mishra as well Indian so now this is an insane squad that I would have never been able to put together if you told me just like create a team this is like one of the most random teams that you could think of but I also want to see is he still the one he's still the one 31 and 9 but Qual 29 and 15 that is surely incredible Australian is 96 rated. I didn't even see that. Oh my God. That is one of the highest ratings we have had on a rebuild. I think the highest I ever had was a 97. Incredible stuff right there, man. Well done. And the rest of the team, including Diouf, doing great stuff. And our left back with the eight and six. Now I want to see, is this going to be a season in which we are going for the double? Are we going for another trophy right here? Premier League? It's done. <laughs> Lovely. And I also want to see, have we won the cup? Because I didn't pay attention there a second ago. FA Cup? No, we didn't. We lost against Liverpool. It's fine. We're going to be in the Champions League final. And that is all that matters at this stage for me. So, Champions League final against PSG. You wonder who they have in their starting 11. PSG has... Probably Mbappe and Haaland, huh? They have Mbappe. Ooh, new formation. Mbappe, Ribeiro, Kessia at Cam. 
Patino, Coop Miners, Chuamini, Guardiol, Mukiele, Friedrich, Hakimi, Donnarumma. It's an odd team, but Mbappe is still here, so anything can happen. The fans seem ready. East Bengal FC in your stand-up. We are in the Champions League final. This is going to be so much fun, and we are prepared. I believe that is our left back being portrayed by the fans right there. East Bengal FC against PSG. We have seen their team. We are ready to go. I can't wait to take them on. I can't wait to see how Narayana plays. He has pink shoes. All right. He's my favorite player already. Mbappe being stopped by our defense. Kang Seong Jin now moving forward. Bringing it into the main man. Narayana making a good run. That's a great ball into him. Come on. Ooh. Interesting. I actually wonder, has there ever been a player from India that has scored in the Champions League? I don't think there has been, but... This time, it's going to be Narayanan. Kang Seon, great run, sees the run of Narayanan. And it's Donnarumma again. Donna, stop it. PSG trying to create space for their players, but look at the defense and the recovery pace that we are showing or putting on display right here. Narayanan could be making a good run. Kual sees Mishra, Mishra, far post. We have an option. Mishra with the cross and the off, off the freaking crossbar. Narayanan again. Oh my lord, mate, what is happening? Ah, oh, great steal. Go on. The interception is class. There goes the pass into Narayanan. What? I did did I lob? I don't I don't think I did. I swear I didn't press it on purpose. El Canus. Narayanan. Making a beautiful run. Over the top. The ball's coming through. Great control. Up against Donnarumma. My God, bro. Donnarumma, can you just chill? That's surely mine. That is easily mine. Yes, it is. Kual and the boys now asking for Narayana to make that run. This has to be the one. This time. Yes. Let's go. He scores in a Champions League final. A beautiful through ball. For Narayanan, the captain. Let's go, mate. It says Siva on his back. I didn't even see that. Let's go. What a moment for East Bengal FC. Donnarumma is lagging. Things we love to see. Beautiful through ball. He finds the space on that right-hand side. And finally, we get past the keeper late into the Champions League final. Siva steps up right when I need him. Oh, mate, it is just a perfect story, isn't it? Sivasakti Narayanan, five goals in 13 Champions League matches. What an absolute hero he is. Whipped cross, Diouf in the center, hoping to pick that up. Not happening, but that should hopefully be it. No chance for PSG to come back to this, right? Right? Oh, my God, there is a chance, and they're exploring it. It's Mbappe. It's Mbappe. Offside! Offside! Surely! 93rd minute! You have to be kidding! Great skill move! He's off! He is clearly offside! No! I will not accept this! I will never accept this! Hold on, I need to see this again. Bro! He's off! He is 100 million percent Offside game. Are you kidding me, EA? You're stealing a Champions League final from me like this. You have to be kidding. This is 100% offside. There is no two ways about it. How is that not offside? It's a Champions League final, man. Are you mental? We're going into extra time due to it now. If there's one thing I hate, it's injustice, man. I do not like being treated badly just because the game, you know, messes up on their side. Kang Seong, here we go. Narayanan, smack it, son. Suck on that PSG. Try and score again on me. Let's go. Yes, it's Narayanan El Capitan. That's what we do. You are not taking that away from me, EA. Not this time. It's too important. Mbappe sprinting away again. Cannot let that happen. Alvarez. Kind of messed up that one. Still has Mbappe down the left in support. 
No way. Not again, man. It it just ain't gonna happen. Mbamba. We're actually gonna concede here, aren't we? Oh my lord, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. It's 2-2. How did he get past me there, man? How are they managing to pull back once again? Our goalkeeper gets beaten at the near post. <sighs> this is going to go into penalties. I don't want that. Nah. Nah, this is actually happening. Oh my lord, please stop. 120th right before penalties begin. PSG miss a huge chance. Our goalkeeper clearly made up for that mistake at the near post. We're going into penalties, and I genuinely do not know what to expect. Narayanan is going to be the first one to take it. Oh, my God. Please. Yes. <sighs> okay. It goes down the middle. Cool as a cucumber. Kessier. All right. Can't say anything there. Pull. Bang. Let's go. No chance for Donnarumma. Coop Miners. Ooh, he goes. He goes to the top left. Kang Xiong. Oh, that has to be a perfect pen. Ah, come on, man. Mbappe. Of course he scores. Man, this is such a joke. You have not earned this win. You have not earned this win, man. We deserve it. You stole it from us by breaking the rules of football. Yes! Get in! Do you you please get in man all right now make that save make that save to Rati Hakimi to Rati to Rati yes it's done you did not deserve to win that PSG so you are not getting it it is East Bengal FC winning the Champions League trophy. And Narayanan is going to lift it. I promised it and I made it happen. And they tried to fix this game. It didn't work, EA. You can't cheat. That right there is the trophy we earned. And that man has played a massive role in it. Siva Narayanan is going to be lifting it. East Bengal FC. Lads, this was a beautiful story. Possibly my favorite rebuild of the year so far. Just due to the injustice we experienced in the Champions League final. And how we turned it around in a penalty shootout right at the end. Insane. Genuinely insane. Couldn't make up a better story than this if I wrote it down. I am so happy to see Narayana with the title. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know which one we should be doing next. Have a great day. Take care and peace.